Hi guys, today we're going to be learning how to graph using the vertex form. So, basically we have to know what the formula is for the vertex form, which is y equals a x minus h squared plus k. So this is the vertex form equation. Now we got to know the different parts of this equation. So there is k which stands for vertical translation this determines if the graph is going to be going up or down now there is h h is called the horizontal translation This determines if the graph is going to be going, graph or parabola is going to be moving right or left. And the last but not least is A, which is stretch or compression. This determines if the graph is going to be wider or narrower. So before we start, let's look at some key points of a parabola. So we know that a parabola has two x-intercepts. This means that it may touch the x x-axis twice. Another thing that we have to know is a trick. So as you can see that x minus h is in brackets. And the thing about brackets is that everything that is in brackets, so h, is basically the opposite. So if, um, for example, if h was negative 3, then it would actually be positive 3. It's the opposite. If h was positive 7, then it would be negative 7. If it was negative 0 0.5, it would be positive, 7, positive 0 0.5. Understood? Okay. So now we all know this, then let's solve an example. So let's do one example. Let's do y equals 2x minus 3 squared plus 4. Okay. So now we have to look at some a few things. Let's start by looking at our vertical translation. So we have to know one thing. If the vertical translation, if it's positive, so if it's a positive number, then the graph will be moving upwards. If it's negative, then the graph will be moving downwards. Now, now let's look at the negative 3. This is our horizontal translations. So, if it's a negative number, then the, if it's negative, then it equals to right. So, the graph will be moving to the right. If it was a positive, then it would be moving to the left. And let's look at this. This is a stretch or compression. It's 2 and it's a positive. So, that tells us that our, our graph will be facing upwards. If it was a negative number then it would be facing downwards. So our graph, if we were to make it, it should look something like this. This would be called upwards. So these two arrows are facing upwards. If it was a negative number, so for example, if it was negative two, then the graph would be facing downwards like this. This, if it was a negative number. But our, fa our 
our number is positive, it's a positive 2. So it's facing upwards. Now, so we know a few steps. We know the horizontal, vertical, and stretch of compression. Now we have to graph it. So this is going to be a very rough sketch. So I'm just going to make a chart very simply. Now let's just number it quickly. Let's do one, two, three, four, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, I guess that we don't need it because we have everything over here is the thing. So before we start, we have to know what the vertex is. The vertex is basically to find the vertex in a vertex form equation, it's basically h and k. So in our case, the vertex will be h, which is negative 3, but remember, opposite, so it's positive 3, so it'd be 3, and k in our case is 4. So our vertex is 3, 4. So let's label that on the graph. 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Approximately, that's our point. Now, how, how we have our vertex. That's our vertex. But we don't know anything else. How are we going to graph it? How do we know that it's supposed to be this wide or this narrow? We don't know. So that means... We have to find those points. Now you must be wondering how will we find those points when we only have this equation given and nothing else. Well, now we're going to be looking at the step pattern. The step pattern is basically a very easy way to find the different the other points of the parabola which will which will then connect to make and graph our equation, which was y equals 2x minus 3 squared plus 4. To do this, we have to know how to use the step pattern. We're going to be start by learning how the basic step pattern is. The, a base parabola and its equation would be y equals x squared. Now, you must be wondering, what is this equation? That is basically the base parabola which will help you solve for any other equation given. So our x value will be here and our y value will be over here. So the, the base parabola, the point would start over here and it would go over 1, up 1. So the other point would be over here. So we're going to write that. So if you go over 1 and up 1, that's our first point for our base parabola. Next would be we'd be going over 2, up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Over 2, up 4. And basically you do the same on the other side. Over 1, up 1. Over 2, up 4. And now if you connect these, the, these are the coordinates for our base parabola. And this is how it's solved. If you basically, this is the base parabola, and how do you solve for it? We know that if you go over 1 and up 1, you get your first point. If you go over 2 and you go up 4, you get our second point. And that's how we solve for that. Now we have to make a step pattern for y equals 2x minus 3 squared plus 4. So we're going to still do this. And if you notice, when it says y equals x squared, so y, which is 1, equals x squared. So 1, one squared is 1. 2 squared is 4. If you continue it, over 3, and 3 squared is 9, so it'd be up 9, and over 4, 4 squared is 16, so up 16. Just like that. That's the rule for this. But we're solving for 2. So we still do our x and y coordinates. 
it would be over 1. But instead of up 1, it would be 1 times 1 times that, which would be over, sorry, up 2. Next, over 2. But how do we know what goes next? That's when you follow the base parabola rule. This would be multiplied by this. So this y value will be multiplied by this x value. So 2 times 2 is 4. So it would be over 2, not 4. And let's do one more just in case. Over 3. So what is 2 times 3? 2 times 3 is, you're correct, it's 6. Up 6. So now we have our step pattern. And now all we have to do is graph it. So our first was over 1, let's do over 1, up 2, so 1, 2, here's our first point, over 2, up for 1, 2, 3, and let's just pretend there's here, 8, up 4, and there's our second point, same on this way, over 1, up 2, over 2, up 4. And now we can graph it. And that, my friends, is our parabola. So now let's repack everything that we learned today. So we know how to graph using the vertex form. We have to first know the different parts of the vertex equation. The vertex equation is y equals a x minus h squared plus k. k is the vertical translation, which basically determines if the parabola is going to be going up or down. h is the horizontal translation, which determines if it's going to be going right or left. And remember, if it's a negative, then it'd be going to the right. If it's a positive, then it would be going to the left. And A is the stretch or compression. And remember, also, if it's a positive, then the graph will be facing up. If it's negative, the graph will be facing down. And we also need to know the step pattern for the basic parabola, which is y equals x squared. So y equals 1 squared is 1. y equals 2 squared is 4. y equals 3 squared is 9. So over 1, up 1. Over 2, up 2. And the same if it's a negative number. So pretend it's negative 3. Then instead of over 1, up 3, it would be over 1, down 3. Because it's negative. And that is it. That's how you graph using the vertex formula. Thank you.